So adding to that, taking that into consideration, uh, we're going to be uh, introducing tomorrow a resolution. Uh, and for that to stand here with me, I'd like to call Council President Sabina Matos because she has co-sponsored this resolution that we put together. And, uh, <laughs> she is so uh, instrumental in all of the work that uh, we do. So let me just go by some of the notes here that are going to be on the uh, resolution before you make your remarks. Uh, and uh, it, based on the fact that we do have here the highest asthma area in our community, so it is a frontline community as defined by the Climate Justice Plan. We don't feel that it will meet the, uh, this proposal will meet the uh, standard with the Justice Plan regarding the environment uh, sustainability. We don't feel, we feel that it will have a negative uh, impact and, and for the health and also for future development. So we know that this application will be heard on the 17th of March next month. So we are putting a resolution that we'll, I will introduce tomorrow uh, to ask the City Planning Commission, Commission that based on all these findings that they denied uh, this application. So uh, tomorrow we'll introduce it at City Council and uh, we'll vote on it. Hopefully it will pass. It has some great support. It has the support of the Council President, has the support of David South, Councilman Salvatore, uh, Councilwoman Castillo, uh, Councilwoman Helen Anthony, uh, as well as uh, Mary Kate Harris and uh, somebody else that I'm probably forgetting. Uh, so Council President, thank you for being here. Thank My you sister. so much. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman Espino. I just want to say uh, thank you for the hard work that you have been doing in this um, area and to bring this um, issue to the attention of all of us in the City Council. You, together with Linda, have been advocating and, and, letting, and educating the rest of us in the City Council about the consequences of, of having this business coming into our city. Um, I just want to uh, once again reassure you that all, all of us in the City Council are taking this issue seriously. We are supporting Councilman Espinal on this um, fight, and we're going to be there with him. We have the resolution introduced in the City Council for tomorrow. We're going to pass it, hopefully pass it, and send it over to the the, um, the City, City Plan Planning. Commission. And I hope that all of you come to the meeting. If you're not able to come to the meeting at the City Plan Commission, please make sure that you send a written statement, okay? If, uh, or do both, just in case. It's really helpful if you bring both. Bring your written statement to the meeting if you're able to be there, present it and speak. But also, if you're, not, if you're not able to speak, you can make sure that they get a copy of your statement. Um, the other thing that we want to know is, and I was checking with Carol earlier, let us know uh, through the Providence City Council staff. We have two of our staff here, Mike and Carol. Can you guys wait? We have a wonderful team in the City Council. If any of you need any information about the meeting, how to get there, and I'm going to say a little in Spanish also. Si alguien necesita traducción para esta reunión, por favor, déjenos saber con tiempo para nosotros asegurarnos que esté disponible. So I, I was saying if anyone needs translation for the meeting on the 17th, to let our office know ahead of time so we can make sure that we arrange for that. Okay? Thank you, Council. Thank you so much. It is definitely related to the mm -hmm. fact that you just translated because I've been thinking mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. There is any way that we can provide the same information in Spanish. Like the Washington Park community Sorry. has a huge uh, population of owners mm -hmm. and, and people that speak Spanish. So can we actually do something just to disseminate the information and do some type of outreach in Spanish? 
Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's what I believe. Oh. So, 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 for, for instance, the right now, this meeting mm -hmm. has been conducted in English right. all night long. Mm -hmm. And, and there is, yeah. it's, this okay. is not about this right now. This is about us getting together yeah. and moving forward. Yeah. But if there is the opportunity yeah. to do it, I, I definitely call me in I, I, for the outreach, for whatever it takes. Yeah. I'm, I'm there to do the work. Yeah, so um, I noticed that there was there's uh, some information in Spanish, it's like a summary, but um, anything that we can do to support um, the councilman and, and, and the neighborhood association in getting this information translated, we're definitely going to be doing that. Okay, thank you for bringing that. So, with the rest thank you so much. Um, the, you mean the future for right now? Yeah, if there's anybody who needs it. Um, yeah, so let, let me just ask to make sure if anyone in here is. If hay alguien aquí en este momento que prefiera que le, tra le hagamos la traducción simultánea, um, Carol está disponible para ayudarnos a traducir. Uh, yo le estaba preguntando a ella más temprano y ella está disponible. Hay alguien aquí que prefiere que la información sea en español ahora mismo, uh, porque Carol lo, po lo puede hacer. So I'm asking is anyone right now that would prefer to get the full information translated because Carol from our office will be available to do it if um, and um, you guys can come and talk next to her and, and also si alguien quiere no quiere decirlo públicamente quiere acercarse a Carol ella le va a traducir y nos vamos a asegurar para el futuro las próximas reuniones tener uh, en la traducción disponible con uh, simultánea con los um, equipos de traducción de audífono Okay. Right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.